here with your property masters in five minutes of free time. I have a new cameraman today, our newest uh, team member, April Platt. Pratt? <laughs> I was going to call you Platt for some reason. Because it is why. Platt. It is? It's Platt. P L A T T. Mm -hmm. right. Sorry about that. That is me and my names. Anyone who knows me knows I'm horrible with names. Um, understanding the appraisal process is what we wanted to go over today. Again, we are not appraisers, we're not attorneys. Um, this is McBride Realty Group, your property masters. Buyers and sellers are often confused about the appraisal process and um, it can be hard to comprehend at times. That said, an appraisal is one of the most important parts of the transaction. Understanding the appraisal process is essential um, to working your way towards a smooth closing. So first of all, what is an appraisal? There's a lot of confusion about that. Uh, when a buyer buys a home, they usually get a loan. Uh, to help finance the purpose, purchase. They don't usually have a couple hundred thousand dollars laying around, and if they do, they're smart enough to know that they don't want to invest that in a loan. Um, this, that's not the best use of their capital. So the bank wants to make sure they are not over lending on the purchase, hence the appraisal to determine the value in which they will lend. That's the key factor here. The appraisal is the value that they will lend against. So, for instance, if it's conventional, you're doing an 80% loan, they determine the value to be $200,000, they would lend $160,000, 80% of the value that they come up with. Do not confuse the appraised value with the market value. Market value is what a buyer is willing to pay and what a seller is willing to accept. That has nothing to do, unfortunately, with the appraised value. The buyer hires the appraiser through the bank to determine the value they will lend against irrespective of the market value, the sale price, or any other part of the transaction. So appraisals are ordered through an online portal because there was a whole lot of back slapping and payoffs going on. So now they created a, a national appraisal agency. You order your appraiser through this agency. The bank does. The bank is not even allowed to talk to the appraiser at all. Um, the, the, the realtor could still meet them there, but they don't really like us much. Um, so basically, the appraiser goes and visits the property. He does a three-part analysis. First, he's going to analyze the neighborhood. That doesn't mean he goes around and sees um, how many kids are hanging out or how many trucks are up on blocks. They do a neighborhood assessment to see what is the condition of the neighborhood. If it's an HOA, are they taking care of it? Uh, what's in the neighborhood? What are the amenities in the neighborhood? How far is it from shopping? that type of thing. Um, so they may determine how the property fits into the neighborhood. Is it too big for the neighborhood, too small for the neighborhood? That will affect its value as well. Um, second, they do a market analysis. So they'll do an overall market analysis both at the national and local level to determine the direction of the market at that time to see if they should boost the property's value for the market or if the market's heading down, they will decrease it. Of course, now we're in a market that's heading up kind of flattened out, but heading up. Finally, they do a site visit to evaluation the condition of the property, verify the amenities, and take pictures uh, for the report. Um, they then find comparables in the neighborhood or local buy, and they make adjustments to those properties so that they are substantially equal, and then they figure out what the value is based on that. But an appraisal isn't, it, it, it's an assessment of value. What it isn't in that instant in time, nothing more and nothing less. Many buyers confuse the appraisal with the inspection. They are separate and independent. While an appraiser is going to note on his appraisal anything that they find, leaks in the roof, stuff like that, um, they do not perform an inspection on the property. They don't actually, the inspector, the home inspector does the inspection. The appraiser does the valuation. However, if you find something substantially wrong, such as wood rot leaking the roof, they will note that. And any deficiencies would need to be repaired in order for the lender to lend against that property. So it doesn't really affect the value of the property. What they're saying is, this needs to be repaired, or you don't want to lend against that property. Two types of appraisals. We have a government appraisal and a conventional appraisal. VA, FHA, and USDA loans are all government guaranteed loans. Most people use a government guaranteed loan when they purchase a property, and almost all first time home buyers do. Um, government loans allow for low down payments, whereas conventional loans typically require 20% more. Because of this, the government appraisal is much more thorough than the conventional appraisal. 
While the appraisal on a conventional loan will point out all obvious defects, the bank has a 20% buffer built into their loan that you put in 20% down. So they're less concerned about minor things here and there. They know they'll likely be made whole if they have to foreclose. However, an FHA loan usually is for 96.5% or almost 100% of the property. So they are very concerned about the condition of the property. So their appraisers call, conduct what we call a mini inspection. They go up in the roof, they actually go, I mean, go up in the attic, they actually look in the corners, um, make sure there's no wood rot, stuff like that. So they not only note minor, they not only note major deficiencies like the conventional appraiser, but they also note minor deficiencies. Appraisal is much more thorough. The other main difference, and this is the most important difference between a conventional and a government appraisal, is that the appraisal runs with the property for six months. So if you get a government appraisal done and it doesn't appraise for the value, it will run with the property for six months. So that, that means that basically if uh, we can't come to terms between the buyer and seller, another person won't be able to buy the house using a government loan. It would have to be with a conventional loan or they would have to be paid cash. So what do you do if it doesn't appraise? Well, you have four options. First of all, the seller can decrease their price to sell for the price of the appraisal. The buyer can pay additional cash to make up for the difference. The two can meet somewhere in the middle or cancel the contract. Appraisal is confusing and can be intimidating. Make sure you're working with a professional who knows the ins and outs of the process. I have over 28 years of working with appraisers, uh, thinking of selling, price the house properly in the first place, and then you won't have to worry about the appraisal. Want to get top dollar for your property or business? Our master marketing program will get you top dollar for your property or business. Call or text us today at 386-866-1007. We'll be sporadic on our five minutes of free time over the next week. We'll be in and out of town. So uh, Sarah's team made it to the World Series. So we're going to have some fun down in Jensen Beach. So we'll see you soon.